Pro Contract 365 is an easy to use solution for managing the expiration date of your organization's contract within your Microsoft Dynamics 365 application. This video will show you how to use Pro Contract 365. We will show you where to find the app within Dynamics 365, how to create a new contract, and finally, we will show you a dashboard that's offered out of the box to you once you've installed the application. You can download the 10 day free trial in Microsoft App Source. So let's start by showing you where to find the application. Simply click on the down arrow to the right of the sales menu, click the Productivity 365 area, and select Contract Tracking. I just want to point out that any application that you download from JustSuff will be found in this area. Once you've selected Contract Tracking, you will see a list of active contracts that your company have or will create. You find different views that you can use, active contracts, child contracts that will be explained later on in this demo, and so on. For the sake of the demo, I will choose the Microsoft Office 365 contract. Here we see the contract tracking information form. In the general section, you can set the title of the contract, the contract type, from here, you can choose from one of the contract types that your organization have created, or create a new one if you have the security level to do so. For example, you could create the following contract types, service, picture rights, IT licenses, and so on. Your CRM administrator can assign two different types of security roles, a Pro Contract 365 user and a Pro Contract 365 manager. Please note that only the user with the Pro Contract 365 Manager security level can add a new contract type. The contract number, the account is the name of the company with whom you created the contract, and the contact is the person with whom you signed the contract. The previous contract is the contract that you renewed. Now let me explain the difference between the child contract and the parent contract. Let's say today you've signed a new contract with a cell phone company. Year 1 of the contract is considered a parent contract. The subsequent years of the contract with the same account will be considered the child contract. The second section is the payment information. You can select the payment period here from a drop-down list and set the amount of the contract. The monthly cost and yearly cost field will populate when you'll save your form. Payment method is a field that provides you with a list of different payment options. If we choose the credit card payment method, you'll notice that a field called credit card expiration date will appear. This field gives you a key indicator to make sure that you don't miss out on a payment. Notes and activities is your activity feed. In this section, you can enter the user password information for your licenses or any other information that's useful for your company. In the renewal information section, you can set the importance level of the contract the starting date of the contract, and the end date of the contract. The expiration in is a countdown until the end date. The renewal type field is a drop-down list. You can choose between manual, automatic, or perpetual. Renewal date is the date you want to take action before the end date of the contract, giving you time to think if you still need that contract or not. Renewal in is another time tracker that informs you of the numbers of days left before its renewal date. The contract renewal is the contract for the upcoming year. It will populate once you hit the renew button on the active contract and will have an active status once we get to its start date. In the top right portion of the form, there are three fields. Renewal type that was explained earlier, renewal date and more importantly status reason. By default, it is set to draft. The status will switch to active once the contract is at its starting date. Now that we've explained the form, let's show you how to interact with it by explaining the relevant button on the top action bar. You have the new button that allows you to create a new contract. Renew sets the contract to a renewed status. Clone allows you to create a clone of the contract. And deactivate renders a contract inactive. Once all your contracts are entered, you can visualize them through the Pro Contracts 365 dashboard. You can see the number of active contract by type, your monthly payment by contract type and status, the number of contract that are set for renewal per month, the number of closed contract you had throughout the past year, a list of expired contract and contracts that are set for renewal. 